serving his people. Particularly in the Syrian crisis and in the Iran nuclear, with the Iranian nuclear program problems with America. How, does you, how do you view those crises and what advice do you have from your example in Latin America that you may pass on to the people of the Middle East? Mm. Well, first, some powers have no authority, nor ethics, nor moral authority as presidents to speak about nuclear weapons. Secondly, conflicts, conflicts within countries is provoked by capitalism and then they intervene militarily. A good example is Libya and Gaddafi. It was the Libyan oil for some powers. I should say I was in a meeting with heads of state in Europe and I was asking one of the presidents, well now who's in charge of Libyan oil? And the president said, no, don't ask me, ask the other president, another European president. So with the pretext of social conflict, uh, nuclear weapons, drug trafficking, or weapons of mass destruction for humanity, these are all pretexts to intervene and take over the natural resources in that country. We understand exactly what's going on. Anti-capitalist governments and anti-imperialist governments are accused of being drug trafficking and fomenting internal conflict and then of course you need an intervention. But ultimately, it's not social. It's really about natural resources, not social conflict. That's why Bolivia does not believe in war or interventions, nor does it want to discuss that in the United Nations, if there's a democracy or no democracy in the United Nations. It's not possible that all the countries of the United Nations would be subject to the Security Council. What Security Council? It's an insecurity council for mankind around the world. That would be another discussion. So, well, as peoples, we need to avoid any social conflict. That's not the issue. Without social conflict, there would be no reason for intervening. There are groups where uh, conflict is fostered by the government of the United States. They create conflict, as they have tried to do in Bolivia and other places, and then justify a coup d'etat, as they've done in Latin America as well. In Bolivia, after approving the new constitution, we have become a peaceful country, pacifist. We don't provoke anyone, but everyone should also uh, be prepared if there's any kind of territorial aggression against us. I come from the culture of life, not from the culture of death. I do not share policies or actions around death as being planned by the Security Council. And there we have huge differences of opinion as a president, as a government, and as a country within the United Nations. Once again, that will be an ongoing discussion in order to demo make the United Nations more democratic. Another example is the economic blockade against Cuba, the embargo. Two or three countries reject it. All countries in the world support Cuba. So why does the United Nations not make the resolutions be complied with? Israel and United States reject, and then all the rest of the countries in the world are subject to the will of the United States and Israel. What democracy? And we could give many other examples of what happens in the world like that. <laughs> 